my five sisters is my shi ma shang shi luka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Five scenes are out there. Tell me how I think you guys. What you need to hear from me right now. Five scenes out there. Just one more time. Oh. Five scenes out there. What do you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is a five of pentacles. All right. This is not a good place to be in. No, you feel very much out in the cold. You're not supported. You feel betrayed. For some of you out there, you feel betrayed. Because with the moon, there's things which is going on behind your, or behind the scenes, which you're unaware of. There is decep deception as well with this card. Hmm? Things hidden from you, which puts you in this place, in this five pentacle situation. Again, it's not a good place to be in. Somewhere where you feel like, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Pisces, what else? Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. Queen of Swords, that's not your next card. Yes, uh, Seven of Swords, there is deception. There is things going on behind your back. Okay? People sneaking out. People doing shit behind your back. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. You're stuck. You're in limbo. You're in limbo trying to figure out what is actually going on. We uh, assure you the Queen of Swords, you need to make, you know, try to figure things out. This hangman has a halo around his head. So it's, it's like getting enlightened about the people whom you're dealing with. With that moon card which I spoke about uh, regards to deception and things happening behind the scenes. And the Seven of Swords confirmed it. Okay? People, people literally sneaking behind your back, doing things uh, being sneaky. You need to figure it out. Okay? I don't know how, but you need to literally understand what's going on. Like the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is somebody who is uh, like the icy queen. How much ever it's going to hurt, it is about time that you figure things out for yourself, for your own sake. These might be people who is close to you. Okay? But you, you really need to understand. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. She's coming out again. Your next card is this one. Okay? Whatever you're going to find out might hurt you. Y you need to uh, build up the courage because it's a strength card. Build up the courage to face this. Yes. Yes. What are you going to find out? It's not going to be pretty. So you need to be ready for this. Okay? How much of it is going to hurt you? You, you shouldn't let that come in between. Okay? Do the right thing for yourself. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy or probably an Aquarius. Pisces, what else? Next card is this one. Nine of Pentacles. Again, I feel you're solo. Like you are stranded. You're by yourself. You have to... Yeah. Even if there are so many people around you, you're by yourself. Okay? You feel very much isolated right now. We started off with the Five of Pentacles. You feel stranded. There is information which you're holding on to. 
you might have found out things but you're holding on to and I feel like you are uh, trying to make sense of it with this uh, hangman you're stepping back and trying to see what is actually going on you're being very mature about this the queen of swords being very mature about how you're going to deal with this whole thing but I, I don't feel like you have confronted them you just you know sitting on it right now or laying on it right now because you're, you're just hanging in there you see you're licking your wounds because you're getting hurt but you're building up your courage okay you feel very stranded even when there are so many you know chatter around you there are so many people around you you feel alone Pisces, what else? Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to go your way. Alright, what else? Pisces, what else? You're waiting for a chance to confront. Didn't I say you haven't confronted them right now? You are sitting on it. That's weird. Uh, I feel like you are waiting for the opportunity to have a control over the person who is playing you. That's, that's taking a twist. You will control them. Okay? You are up against this, this person. This is your energy. I could be speaking to the cross watcher as well, but whoever the story is for, uh, this is a main lead. Who's feeling very stranded, isolated, blah, blah, blah. But this is a person whom you're dealing with. Who is the seven of swords energy as well? You're confronting them, but your intention is, your wish is to have them in control. You're losing over uh, your sleep over this with the nines and the nines. You don't know how things will go, you know, turn out, whether things will go your way or that. But you're wishing you will have control over them. You, you can leash them. When I'm looking at the strength card. Does that make sense? This is very childlike energy. The person whom you're dealing with is childish. Who is very defensive. They wouldn't accept that, you know, they were messing behind your back. No. Because the number of the, uh, times the Seven of Swords came through, the number of times, uh, no, the moon, came, uh, moon card came through, they are the one who is putting you in this situation, in this Five Pentacles situation. And they are not uh, accepting their mistakes. They are standing up, they are fighting you. And your intention from the way, it, uh, and you are losing a sleep over them. You are stressed out with their behavior. But I keep getting you want to have the upper hand over them now. That's interesting. This person has betrayed you. You're trying to figure out how do you control them now. Okay, That is why you're sitting on the information which you have. Okay, that's pretty. Because you're thinking like a criminal. Maybe it is required. Because the person whom you're dealing with is very... Uh, not 
just childish. It's just like they are used to getting away with, uh, with the sort of thing. They used to. And they're like, no, I didn't do it. And, uh, you know, you can't prove it. So it's like, you have to give in. They are never accepting of their faults, of their mistakes. I'm going to stop here, Pisces. I wish you luck. Let me know if this makes sense, alright? That's it for now. This is Marishi Yamashan Shuloka. I'll next time. Bye bye.